needed some hope. We cruising bright mode today, y'all. West Side Detroit. Happy that you all can come along on the ride. I'm gonna put on some Mid and Mayhem radio here. And we just gonna cruise and enjoy us some good old Detroit. Roll with me, folks. So, man, appreciate it. But, you know, we're here to talk about you tonight, man. All right, these are interviews by all the award here. What you got going on, dog? Out of Lansing you know, and uh, Mid Mayhem Radio. The re-up card coming up, man. Midwest Miles versus Aver, the rematch. Oh, yeah. First battle, I'm going to be ready. Cruising now in Evergreen battle. right now. You know, big as far as the culture of the battle with Midwest you know, came about. Okay. You know, that's when we felt like we're going to put some guys together. Right. And show them how much talent we well, have. He showed was in the rush. Like, and, and people don't know the story behind that night in St. Louis, man. It was crazy. That motherfucker was so in a rush. Yeah, right. So they ended up just making it pop anyway. Yeah, after well, you know, you know what happened, man. I don't remember what happened. I remember we was in the club, man. Everything was going good. And holla, you know, holla, hothead, man. Holla, like. So this is the home of Ward Beer. Oh, man. Like, like, you know, he broadcast yeah, they, they out of W, L, Z, N, and Lansing. They walking around the club, like, yo, we going to. We gonna, we gonna do this. A lot of love for a lot of local artists. We get on the freeway, get a chance. To the next spot. Check out the Mitten Mayhem radio yeah. broadcast. Yeah. We doing like 90 on, on YouTube. Old club followers there, so it was, it I forgot like what day he actually club, broadcast live. But the radio station noticed, is in Lansing, for fuck's sake. So in, uh, I can't get the live broadcast unless I go on the uh, WLNZ website. Okay. And people don't know X Battle Remedy that. Right. He lost his voice. Man, see, it's always something to go on with that, though. It's like, behind like, the scenes. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. I got old folks on that. They don't even know, you know what I mean? What made that happen? It's Smack was still made. Nick Lynn never bring, y'all. Let me stop saying that. Like, like shout out to Smack. You know, we got a lot of love for them. Now, this Sitco gas station is next to me. Not this fuel yeah, zone yeah, over here in the screen, this. but yeah, it's a gas yeah, station directly to my left. Notorious Jack Spot. Big, big. Be very careful fucking around at that gas station, y'all. Very notorious Jack Spot. So, July 30th, right? right over July here. 30, 3 p.m., 12 blue. Okay. It's going to be a movie. Yeah. It's going to be a real movie. Big shout out to BBG. West McCody. Marvin. West McCody. Yeah. Oh, these niggas talking about rap battles. I don't really get into rap battles, man. Always been, you know what I mean? I don't think it's fun oh, yeah. to just stand there and insult a motherfucker for just no reason. It's going to be action packed. But to each his own, though. You itching? I got, I got, I got pretty weight. Okay. You, know I mean? you, got, you gotta be in your bag though. I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was getting ready for Bird. I know Bird. You know Bird? I'm watching him or whatever. Right. I don't watch Bird. Make him laugh, baby. Let's get downfield. I watched him, but I somehow miss Bird versus Cortez. Bird versus Cortez. I'm like, no, I'm just right. <laughs> yeah. Nah, man, we gotta do this a different way. So. Yeah, that was. He got kind of busy. No, he did. He, he, he's sure. a good It's different when you stand in front of him. It'd be so funny because I see a lot of the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a house over by uh, Field 87 Mile that we was working on a while hard. ago. They working hard. They working hard. They property they improvement. Fight. For they life, they not standing there playing with me like anybody. You're not gonna we was getting it up to Section me. 8 standards. They can say whatever they want to say, but you can't tell me. You had to hook up the paint and, and try to hook up the windows. Give it, get off. Right. It's all you know, smoke alarms. Big homie Ice, he came with it. You know, yeah, he, he get it ready to real. be he, he for and Section 8. Right and yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell everybody else. Fun little project. In his heart, he I might cruise by there and show y'all that house. I guarantee you. July 30th. But BBG that's over there about seven right, pounds. Exactly. Though. If you come here playing, I'm dropping it. Right, right now oh, we in the man, hood of the DMG, baby. The bright mo gang. I'm not playing. You hear him? You hear him? Men made him radio war skills, Midwest Miles. We're going to get into this record. Midwest Miles, Head Ice, Mad Hoffa. Salute to the homies, man. Shout out, Mav. Shout out. Oh my God, Head Ice. Mav Hoffa uh, is profit. nice. Record, I've heard I've heard some of his shit. The boy is nice. Touch my wrist, touch my wrist, you gotta suck. Yeah. That was Tone Tone, Go Rolex on Midnight Radio. Got my dog Midwest Miles in the building. What up? What up, what up, what up, what up? What up? What up? Just cooling, man. Like I said, July 30th. 
30th. Midwest Miles versus A Verb. It's going down. Okay. Again. Yeah. Let me Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You ready? Burp roll, people. Anybody out here barking up your tree? Other than the situation you got going on, you got any upcoming? Is there anybody else on the radar after the after the bird battle? No, you know, you know, I know you. I want you to, to battle when you're ready to battle. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm up here at Burt Road and Audi Drive. <laughs> it's this little prayer bitch. You see it right there, where it says "Pray here and watch what happens." I prayed there. Ain't shit happy. <laughs> I ain't get what I wanted, baby. Maybe I was asking for a little too much, but I ain't get it. Oh shit! You know what? Why this van is? I got to show y'all this van, man. Check this out. This van be, uh, has been up here at this shop on Finkel. It used to be on Joy Road all the time. I'm gonna drive up in here so y'all can see it. I'm up here in this shop. To this the, van. You know to the rap, to the it used to that. always be on Joy Road, but now they got it up here at this shop on Fink. I did a movie with with Noel G. All right, look at this van. I've got to get this van in a music video. Look, look at that bad boy right there. I've got to get that bad boy in a music video. That van is out fucking cold. Got to get that motherfucker in a music video. Shouts out to Paulie's Hardware. Yeah, I be doing the acting on the side too. Yeah, I rock with him. You gotta come rock with him. I had a couple of those cameos. I slid in a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, it's fine. I'm just being able to do it. But I mean, I wanna, I wanna like seriously do it. I'm talking about like getting to a serious role that's not going to be what they expect. You know what I mean? Like from an artist standpoint, I think that's that's super. Dope. That's like me playing somebody like you know what I mean? Teaching. So you don't expect me. Right. Me to show up as a teacher. I think I'm gonna dip down you know here. I mean? People or something like that. That's a challenge. To do. Like this book. It's a lot of people don't know about. I mean, like, with a lot of people, like, you know what I mean? I'm, Fun fact. I'm, I'm into a lot. You know, a lot of people think, you know, big old vibes and anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, so, I think that would be something. Burt Road is our current locality. Yeah, like Midwest Miles. Social media information. What up? Where can they find you? Yeah, this is, uh, let, me first, let, me, let, me, let me say something real quick. You know, too, because I get a lot of money for that. I posted some pictures like being normal, right like, back in like, Dip down the PA. 2002, bro. All right. In 2000, my brother's in one nation. You can tell you this is true. This was used to give you a testament for it. It's come out here. Oh, man. This is bomb ass place. This is like years ago. So I'm going to be in that area. You ain't going to see me out here posting that. This is bomb ass place. But I'm having fun. You're going to see me having a good life. This is bomb ass place. This is my beautiful children. This is bomb ass place. You're living a good life. You know what I mean? But it's crazy how they try to flip that social media. Have you ever, have you ever had some bomb pussy? Have you ever, have you ever had some bomb pussy? Have you ever, have you ever had some bomb pussy? Have you ever, what you know about that war skills? Go ahead, baby. And I, I responded to somebody about something. I'm like, nah, we don't, we don't post the crazy stuff. But Midwest Miles on Instagram, all one word. Okay. Facebook, Midwest Miles. I don't really use Twitter. Me either. You know, I ain't even going to front. Me either. <coughs> really, but it's Midwest Miles. <coughs> Virgin I just I just posted my first my first Snapchat. Uh, wow. You know what I mean? And, 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 wow. Yeah, you know Snapchat. I haven't even posted a post, Snapchat right? yet. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, Midwest Miles. Yeah. I got the TikTok a little uh, TikTok a little bit. Find some of my music on TikTok. So if y'all use TikTok, y'all make sure y'all streaming it. Y'all find some of my my music and and doing the dance. My song Dirty One Three is on TikTok. So y'all find that bad boy and do one of them TikTok dances. I don't know who's like, not like, I don't know who's like that, but. Well, that don't look too good. Everybody coming out doing it. 
shit out the mother. That don't look safe at all. Living life. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got DJ Leaky in here, Mike Nate, Clean Heat, Swift. You know what I'm saying? Team in Mayhem, we in here. Man, shout out to this whole thing too, man. Coming in and seeing this too. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, you can appreciate see. it. It's focused, man. It's, it, it shows. You know what I mean? We ain't no Platform movement, late. Man. Platform is late. It's I late. told you. There it is. There it is. We came up from the deep. Yeah, tell them, man. Tell them you know what I mean? Lansing, how the riders. They, they need to. If you ain't coming up here, man, at least vibe and hear the music. Purity and last year. Yeah, we got to go there. We appreciate y'all having us, man. No doubt. No doubt. You might fuck around and catch some reindeer yeah, out here. Check it out. Reindeer be out in bright mode like a motherfucker. Can't be trying to break through the skin. Doing my thing right now. Week. Chat him, y'all. Right more road. I think I'm gonna dip down the parkway. Now you know what? I think I'm gonna hit Great Grayfield. See if we can uh find some of them uh reindeer. Boy. What's going on with my uh mid mayhem playlist here? What's the French toast? What's going on with my shit? Uh, oh, okay, here we go. We here, man. Mid mayhem radio. Let me some motherfucking soon. We definitely baby. got special guests in the building. Uh huh. We got. Mr. Shri Tanadar in the building, man. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, good. West Parkway, Thanks folks. For me. Yeah, appreciate you for coming on, man. Oh, oh this is dude who was running for go. It's late night hip hop, man. We got excited. It came to touchdown. We got Shri Tanadar. Tanadar, whatever that nigga name is. Governor, 2018. Yeah. Okay. okay. Make a change. Yeah. 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 Make a no change. Doubt. Man. Okay, well, let's get straight into it, man. Yeah. And, uh, let the people basically let them know. A lot of people are familiar with you. Yeah. You know, yeah. but for, for the people that are not familiar with you. I want to show y'all the river, but you know what? I think y'all will uh, get a better view of it if Michigan I come in from, from the right oh, well, side. The side. If I had a river on this side of the camera, so let me dip down here real quick. But the Rouge River is out cold. I love taking a walk along like Ridge. And uh, cruising, uh, taking a walk. You know what I'm saying? Or I ride my bike like when I'm over at my sister house, right down here to Beaverland, and right off the uh, Ridge Street Bridge. Nice little real estate to walk right here. So this is the uh, Rouge River, but this ain't the view I want. I want y'all to see. I mean, it's pretty nice. Once you get up here to the ridge, bridge, this is where the view gets nice right about, oh, it's all overgrown, oh, man, no justice, all these damn bushes and shit, it's all that rain, man, and winter, that shit look out cold, though, but all that goddamn overgrowth has obstructed the fucking view, damn, well, anyway, you ever get a chance to cruise down Beaver? Maybe in the wintertime, 
This is some nice little real estate right here to be cruising through. Because you see the river, uh, the Rouge River. Go a little bit up. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see it. And what I'll do is I'll take seventy-five dollars out of that, send it home, so my family can put food on the table. Right. Yeah. And then they will pay me for three months in the summer. And I can afford to leave my. Place. Nice little spot to walk, though. Nice little uh, midday walk, right there. Let's go see if we can see some rain here. Right, so a lot of that other time in class or working or, or doing doing the schoolwork, of course. Yeah. The PT got the graduate, we got the research and chemistry. Yeah. And so I am going to say, shout out to uh, No Dump in Detroit. Faulkner. Damn, why, why it took me so long to think of that man's name? Shouts out to the homie Faulkner. He's here in Bright Mo. He got a YouTube channel. What is the name of his fucking YouTube channel? He, uh, he bust hooks. I don't really like that shit. I don't think there's no problem with a man paying to get his dicks up. I'm sorry. There's no problem. You save yourself a whole lot of damn headache. You know what I'm saying? And for civilians to just be riding around videotaping motherfuckers getting their dick sucked, that's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? Let that man get his dick sucked in peace. But anyway, he be doing that shit and he, uh, he busts people to be dumping around Brightmo. You'll notice that there's not a lot of trash around here. Wasn't always the policy in Brightmo. I'll find a couple of the spots where there's some trash at and I'll show y'all, but Besides the grass, it's looking pretty nice. They tore down a lot of the uh, abandoned buildings. That's why we get a lot of rain here. I haven't seen any though. How you liking that music, man? I love it. You don't love that damn music. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't got the lot to kick it. The dude that was running for governor in 2000, I think he said eight. The Indian dude, just somebody, he loves his hip hop music. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Shouts out to the homegirl Lisa. You know why I'm shouting you out. What's up, girl? Netta and James, we had a few birthday parties at that bar, Netta and James, a couple of them didn't go too particularly well, but we had a couple, we had a few birthday parties in that bar. Matter of fact, a picture of uh, me and Bill is the Facebook uh, cover art for uh, one of our Facebook groups. And a uh, picture of me and Bill inside of that bar is the cover art. Is it local music scene? I think uh, it's a Facebook group called Local Music Scene. And uh, the cover art for that group is me and my brother Bill inside of uh, Ned and James. And I think that might have been either my, no, that wasn't my birthday. I think that was my sister's birthday. Yeah, because we was wearing coats. So it was my sister's birthday, I think. I like this house right here. For whatever reason, I just love the way that house looks and sits. For whatever reason, I don't know what it is. I love the look and the sit of that house. Good old bright mo, y'all. We on shelf five. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm uh, telling you something. No, man, look. But the floor is yours. <laughs> the floor is yours. I, 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 I can come here and tell you some jokes and 
A lot of community farming going on here. And we appreciate your input on that. And also, um, I was speaking earlier, and I was and I was I was telling my guys how I how I like how you take your situations and your issues and you attack them head on. Yeah. Look at this right here. You see what's going on right here? A lot of times when they come at This is leadership. This is the future of Detroit right here. See this man guiding these kids? They out walking the dog, enjoying the community, enjoying a safe, clean community. That's what the fuck is up. That is definitely what's up. That's the future of Detroit. Don't find the cost. Oh, why did I decide to turn down this bumpy ass damn street? Why did I just do that? Why did I decide to turn on this bumpy ass fucking street? My God, man. This is a fucking nigga up, uh, a fucking nigga buzz up street if there ever was one. Bumpy as hell. That shit'll murder your buzz. I might have to roll up some more weed after, uh, crew. Let me get off this motherfucker quick. You don't eat, man. You do what you came to do. Yeah, it's not about race, really. It's about that will economy. fuck your That's buzz up quick, exactly, man. You know, we have the rich getting richer, the poor getting poor. People are just looking for jobs. Yep. You know what? I still haven't seen any uh, trash to show y'all. To um, talk about what I was saying with the homie Faulkner. How he uh, rides around enforcing uh, the dumping. I guess a lot of bulk pickup outside, but that's just bulk pickup for uh, individual houses. That's not niggas coming over dumping construction debris, tires, and shit all over the uh, side of the road. You had all them followers on Facebook. Why you ain't governor then? Of course your ass got all the Facebook followers. You doing a tech support, nigga. I'm not jackass for that one. Y'all think I'm going to go to hell for that joke? Y'all is too. <laughs> Great deal. <clears throat> You're looking at what was formerly blocks of abandoned and burnt out houses. You see all these fields? These used to be houses. It used to be a community. Then they turned into houses. Now it's in the development stages of being able to turn back into a community. But it almost give you the feel of being like in a rural area. Like you would almost expect to see a motherfucker pull out with a, tra a tractor trailer. Okay, here goes some of the trash right here. It's not as bad. But this neighborhood was notorious for that. And you know what? I think that we can attribute the lack of trash to a lot of the houses being torn down. So that might be a good thing. That's the goal. We want to keep the awareness up, and that's why I'm bringing everybody to this platform. So yeah, you heard it first. State representative, yes. yes. Burt Road, y'all. listeners probably know me. I was born and raised in Lansing, so I'm once again. Yeah, I was about to say shout out to all the Sexton homies in Lansing. 
Everybody, uh, I got a few homies who went to Sexton High School in Lansing, Michigan. Shouts out to all them niggas, man. And shouts out to my River Rouge Panthers as well. Current state champs. Of course, the Muffet Mustangs and the Northwestern Coats get love. Stout, ladies and gentlemen. How we bought the projects. addicted to different things and just experiencing things in the criminal justice system, I just don't think that you're qualified to make decisions on our behalf. What? Okay, so, uh, what? I, I have experienced all those So if you ain't never been broke, who have experienced those things, you can't so uh, run for yeah. office? So the, wow, really? The election is in August. Yes, August 7th, right? So many people think that um, the big election is in November, right? Okay. Um, but the reality is that... Uh, and here in Lansing, our primary election is going to be on August 7th. And so um, that's the big election. Take y'all to so the project. Why is August 7th so important? Yeah. The so Smith Lansing home. Lansing is primarily Democratic, right? And so right now we have a primary election in which several Democrats are running against each other. Um, okay. So that's really going to be the big race. And then after that, there's going to be a Republican and a Democrat. My wife's niece, Crystal, so we really need to get our had a uh, baby shower. August. And, and, the, uh, and the, the interesting thing about this race this is little that building right August here, 7th, I guess it's like the uh, residential center with this, for the um, Smith Homes. Okay. So, and uh, I got the DJ for a second. But, um, I tow it the fuck up became our mayor, with my sure. so YouTube so connection so and Bluetooth speaker. I tow it the fuck up. The seat a little bit ago, but I did a pretty decent damn job DJing, boy, with a Bluetooth speaker. Time to essentially vote for me, right? So the ballot's gonna have my name twice. So I'm gonna need our people to vote for me twice. I've been telling people I'm twice as nice. So um, I'm gonna ask <laughs> oh. people to vote for me for the special election to start immediately in November. The Smith Homes, ladies and gentlemen, for, for the next two years. Sarah Anthony, how can people get involved? So I need so much help, right? Proud um, home of the Detroit working strong, class. It's made up of amazing young people who are that, passionate yo? about. Uh, making Detroit our community shit. better. Most of them are born and raised in Lansing or just fallen in love with Lansing from all over the state. Um, so we need people to come out and help us spread the word. Um, they can sign up. The show that I'm listening to right now okay. is okay. Mitten so Mayhem so, uh, Radio. I just uh, changed my name on Instagram okay. uh, and made a new page. So I think it's Sarah you can find it on Rap. YouTube. So it's hosted by the homeboy four. DJ so Ward Beer. Um, they can come in my DM or is Ward just Beard go to the DJ. Sarah yeah. Or is he just a personality? <laughs> I, love it. I don't okay. know, man. I don't, I don't think I've seen any uh, video of him spinning records. I don't know. Yeah. New but new anyway, shout yeah. out to the homie. Yeah. Yeah. Big shout out to Roscoe P and here, Frank. It's like the best thing I've heard. She feeling, she feeling that new Lansing record. That's what shout out to Lionheart Entertainment. That's what we played at the victory party. Okay. Yeah. And also the homeboy Ricky Shark. Yeah, so I got a song a with yeah. Ricky Rucker yes. on my website at JoeQuanTheHooligan.com. It's called so, Song I mean, Cry. You, know, I, you can go to the music page at JoeQuanTheHooligan.com, find the free download section, and you can download that song for free. It's called Song Cry featuring the homeboy Ricky Rucker and Stacey. She's singing on the road. I think you had Shree on here a couple weeks ago talking about the roads, and that's real. I hear it at almost every single door. Yeah. Um, the reality is that in 2015, 
you know, the government essentially passed this road plan, right? Okay, that was and a, it, it a raised our taxes, trash. it raised the gas tax, and you know, every every time you have a birthday, you know, you pay a little bit more in registration fees, but we haven't started to see the roads get better. And it's okay. making people angry, right? And so I know a lot of those um, improvements will take seen place too soon. Much but on soon the isn't good enough. And so we need to be making sure that we're investing in what matters, which is I'll our be roads, right behind right? The, uh, I'm tired of going to the, the mechanic. My tie rod's messed up. We on the way to um, Malibu was in bad shape because of these roads. And right. so we got to find better solutions, right? Okay. Um, let, me ask, let me ask you this. Yeah. Um, for the people who don't even, this is an issue that came up even after I heard some of the uh, some of the people talking about the potholes and stuff. There are a lot of people out here without a car. That's right. Who don't care about the potholes. That's right. Who have other issues. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Preach. Right. So, Preach. so a lot of these people out here that could care less mm -hmm. about a pothole. Preach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's they, true. This other Preach thing, more. They have bigger fish to fry. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Especially with with uh, health care and education That's issues right. That's as right. well. Yeah. How, how do you plan on tackling some of the uh, healthcare or in uh, education type things. Yes, yeah. So and, and both of those are on my website. School right? grab, ladies and gentlemen. Issues. So education, healthcare and infrastructure or roads are three things that I talk about. Okay. Um, with healthcare, we gotta be invested in healthcare, right? As a county commissioner, I've been advocating for what's called the Ingham Health Plan. Right? Okay. That's a plan that Good essentially covers right, um folks who don't have health insurance, right? Um, well shit, I'm about now, to go ahead and bring this video to a close, ladies and gentlemen. I hope so you've had fun you with me cruising through good old Bright Mump. Like this is a community in the northwestern area of the city of Detroit. For all those who may want to know, my name's Joe Kwan the Hooligan. I'm an independent recording artist. I represent the Dirty One Thirty One Third. And you can find my music on my website, JoeQuandaHooligan.com. If you ain't subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy the content that you've seen. And until next time, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer, Joe Quan the Hooligan. How do you turn this thing off? This is Joe Quan the Hooligan.